when we discovered that the catering numbers were staying pretty stagnant from last year, it, it was a little disconcerting because I know that we're getting a lot of interest from people wanting our waffles for their events. Well, it looks like overall sales are up. Oh yeah? This year. Um, That's good. Things are going good. Um, one thing though is I just, I feel like, so the cart sales are up, but the catering is kind of flatlined. Catering is. What has me a little concerned is that we are getting calls. We are, people are interested in, mm -hmm. in catering, especially some of the corporate accounts that we've been wanting to get. I have to tell them, well, we don't have a truck. We can't take the cart. We have to set up tent and tables. And then I don't hear back from them. I'm disappointed that I can't uh, capitalize on this, this business that, you know, what people are searching for, and, and it's really a, a trend right now that I think we, we have a, a window to capitalize on, is that people really like food carts. They just want uh, a cart, an actual physical cart there. Right. They want the food cart feel. They want the, the whole food cart pod sometimes, and it may be weddings, it may be corporate events. But that seems to be a sticking point for everybody. Well, how many do you think we've lost? I would say that we probably um, have had seven or eight inquiries. The bigger corporate accounts would say, oh, sorry, the client's looking for a truck. We right. want the food truck feel. We want to bring a pod to our... our well, and they place. say that in, in, with the uh, weddings, too. You know, they yeah. want to set up a, a mini, instead of a buffet line, a, a mini food cart uh, pod. When I know that I'm talking to a big corporate account that I would love to work for and I have to tell them that, oh, oh we would come and set up a tent and table, I cringe on the inside a little bit. I don't want to have to tell them that. Kind of kicking ourselves now for not getting a truck to begin with. <laughs> I, know, I know. But maybe it's time to look into getting a truck. I think now With the propane. we have the propane waffle iron so we mm. can not have to worry about as much of the electricity. And we don't have to have a full on espresso machine at each event either. So we can probably cut the electricity way down actually on a truck. Great. And then we could work off a generator even and that would make us even more mobile. When we were looking at and when we were uh, deciding about where we're gonna put this, what we're gonna do, uh, what's the best location? I mean, it, it was to find that location and, and stay there, you know? Um, which is what we've done. So uh, from that standpoint, our, our truck or our trailer uh, is, is doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Um, now it, it's the, at, to the point where uh, it, we're at a real kind of critical point in, in our evolution uh, and we need to grow.